Hey, what's going on? It's Gage here from the Football Friends Podcast with another Manchester United transfer announcement. Uh, according to Fabrizio Romano here, we're saying Manchester United are set to sign Martin Dubrovka from Newcastle. And we've got the signature, here we go. So full agreement's been reached. It is a loan deal. And there will be a $5 million option to buy, which is not mandatory. So yeah, look, this is a decent signing in my opinion. I mean, Dubrovka is coming in as a backup goalkeeper to David De Gea. So, I mean, I'm ha I'm completely happy with this. I think for a backup, Dubrovka is a decent choice. He's actually quite, a, he's actually a very good goalkeeper. And over the last few seasons, he was Newcastle's first pick. And, I mean, this was, I suppose this was pre-takeover. But look, Newcastle were a team that had, you know, a lot of shots on goal. <laughs> so, Dubrovka certainly has made a lot of good saves in his time. I think as a backup, this is this is great. I'm very, very happy to have uh, Dubrovka as a backup. But, so yeah, look, I've got a little, there's a little video here, uh, courtesy of SVMM on YouTube. So just to show some, uh, some Martin Dubrovka saves, as, as he does, he does make quite a few good saves, not gonna lie. I. Yeah, look, I mean, David De Gea is still, of course, not the kind of sweeper keeper that we are looking for. Dubrovka is does is a little bit better coming off the line and things like that, as you'll see in some of these highlights. And then he still does have pretty good reaction saves, much like David De Gea. I mean, obviously not to the same level, because uh, David De Gea probably has some of the best reactions in, in the whole of football, but... See, like here, the way Dubrovka is able to come out and smother the ball like that, that's sort of something David De Gea doesn't have. But again, that's the thing. Uh, Dubrovka is only a backup there. Look, there's a really good example of him coming out. Uh, so, yeah, that's the thing. Dubrovka is not supposed to exactly, or well, he's not supposed to replace De Gea at all. So, this is a backup and we're only paying 5 mil. I think totally worth it. He's got a lot of experience. And yeah, so we have yeah De Gea, Dubrovka, and Heaton. No, that's, that's decent. I mean, that's, yeah. And of course, Newcastle are happy with this deal because they have, of course, signed Nick Pope, which is probably slightly better than Dubrovka, slightly. Um, probably actually pretty close, the same level. So it seems like a win-win for everybody. Dubrovka would rather sit on the bench at Man U than Newcastle. <laughs> so yeah, look, look, I, I can still imagine though that De Gea will probably just play every game. But yeah, look, so, look, see, the, I mean, these are highlights, of course, as always. But Dubrovka makes some good saves, man. He's a, he is a good goalkeeper. He's got good reactions. Yeah, see, look, I think this is this is a good deal. I'm very very happy with this transfer as. You know, we, the other goalkeepers we were linked with were like, was it Oliver Bauman or Kevin Trapp? And whereas, you know, Trapp, Trapp's also a very good goalkeeper. I'd happily take him too, but I think Dubrovka is an excellent, excellent backup. Yeah, okay, look, we don't, don't need to watch this whole highlight reel. It's, it's just Martin Dubrovka. It's just a backup goalkeeper. It's, so yeah, you get the idea. Either way, it's it's good to have another signing over the line. Obviously, we needed a backup goalkeeper after Dean Henderson has gone on loan. And it kind of is a win-win because Dean Henderson is going to get some more first-team match experience. And then we'll either be able to sell him or he'll be actually uh, fighting for that first position, maybe, after a, some experience. And then we have Dubrovka as a backup. So, yeah, look, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. I think this is a good signing. All right, well, that's that's all I'm going to say on that anyway. Like and subscribe to the Football Friends podcast and tell your friends and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.